Well, we are live. Welcome once again to Team Gavel. <laughs> we decided to change some things up after looking at uh, how, what we were doing and how it was, how it was going. Uh, so we decided we'd just have more formal just conversations with you on Wednesdays. And we're going to be playing video games on Friday. Uh, James and I both love a good video game. Um, I was just telling James that, uh, like Woody from Toy Story, I'm classically trained. Uh, I remember playing the NES growing up. What was your first system? Uh, Nintendo 64. Nintendo 64? Yeah, they thought it well, yeah, console. That's probably the first console that I, like, played, played a lot. Because I had older brothers and they would never actually let me play the NES, so. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we are here. Um, I have not owned a Nintendo in a long time. And so this is my first day ever playing Smash Brothers. <laughs> But James is going to teach me a lesson or two, so we're going to jump in. i got to pick somebody. Yeah, and just general reminder, we are attorneys, and we are not, not video professional gamers. gamers. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're attorneys. See the lawyer up? See, this is what this is, what this is about. Let's, let's uh, show the shirt. So you can actually still buy these. We have them available at store.tenjinwilliams.com. And then James is also representing some video game love over here, right? Yeah. You want to tell us about your shirt a bit? Uh, so this was a fundraising effort earlier this um, earlier in this COVID. Um, the <laughs> earlier in this COVID? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to start measuring time in terms of COVIDs. Yeah, basically there was a fundraising effort to send donations to uh, save the children and organization. And uh, I contributed, got the shirt, and... That's about as much of the story that I could say, but it was a lot of video gamers, content creators, streamers, people within the space that made this uh, particular effort possible. Right. Well, that's cool. James is always up to doing some good, not no good. <laughs> uh, and we are wearing masks today. We're in the same office. We're not quite social distance, so we're wearing masks because so we're going to be together for, for several minutes. Are you picking somebody? Yeah. Um, Roy? Actually, I'm going to go with... So I've only played this once before, literally five minutes before we decided to stream. I played Luigi, so then I was seeing Samus and thought of my old days playing Metroid, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been playing this. Uh, no, I should not have gone for you first. I should have gone for one of the computers. No! Oh boy. Yeah. This is me, shooting from a distance. Let's do this. Oh, it, it builds up and charges, huh? Yeah. Yeah, each character generally has their own special attributes, and they're all going to have uh, various charge moves. Or I mean, it all comes down to button mashing, but... <laughs> Having I'm sure that some people would dispute the button mashing, right? Well, for us, it's button mashing, it's, right? For us, it's button mashing. Well, there I go. Oh. What is this thing that I picked up? No, don't do that. Oh, I've got a cool... What is this? Some kind of gun? What happened? What was that? What, oh, what caused trying, the epic thing? I was trying to do the smash. The option. smash? Yeah, so basically, if you hit that glowing orb, you can target special uh, or people that are nearby, and it does a lot of damage, potentially throws them off the map. And that's kind of the name of the game. No, no, no! <laughs> that wasn't fun. I wasn't supposed to fall off. Man, I'm not used to the uh, A, B. I keep hitting X thinking I'm going to shoot something. Yeah, and because I've been playing Going Under by Aggro Games, I've been <laughs> trying to get readjusted to this setup, too. Yeah? Is it not uh, what you're used to? No. Usually for, for that no, game... No, 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 no. You're pressing X to like interact with objects and things to attack, so I keep trying to press X in that context, but it's jump. So, not, not good. So the shields are the triggers, right? Is that what you were saying? Yeah. Oh, 
There we go. <laughs> I, I'm watching myself play and I'm all like, yeah, I look like I'm learning how to do this. <laughs> uh, so what other games did you end up playing a lot? Oh man, I, I remember my, my brothers were huge fans of, oh, how do you, do you just hit that floating orb thing, yeah. by the way? Okay. Just A, B, usually. Okay, one. any, any uh, A, B hit's gonna, gonna yeah, do it. And I would just say, try to avoid the glowing ones. Triple finish? What's going on? Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> yeah, I could tell. Definitely did not want to get hit by that. No, so Final Fantasy was a big favorite in our home growing up. My brothers would play that one a ton. Um, I mean, you know, Super Mario Brothers is a classic. Everybody's got to play that one. You ever play Super Mario Brothers? You said the 64 yeah. was your original, but uh, um, surely, surely you have played Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. And uh, my partner has the, like, Switch adaptation. Oh, man, did you blast me out there? <laughs> You're so mean, James. Um, yeah, so there's, there's always... Um, Super Mario Brothers. I'm trying to think what else we played. The original Mario Karts, you know? Yeah. Now Mario Kart's a game I can get behind. I can I can I could do okay at Mario Kart. We have Mario Kart for the Wii U, but we didn't get like Mario Kart 8, the most recent one of the more recent ones. Uh... Oh no, I was trying to chain you. Ch trying to chain you! No, no, you've got me on the wrong side. <laughs> what, what am I in? It's some kind of vortex? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I, I mean, I would not say that I... Oh, so I've got the smash? Is this, is this a good thing? Yeah. <laughs> It, yeah, so then you hit B and you try to hit me when I'm close. And I try to avoid you. <laughs> well, for obvious reasons, right? Man, you still slammed me, huh? How'd you do that? It was a Swirly bullet, thing. bullet bill. Oh, uh, you got me. I gotcha. Huh? Yeah. Nice. I knew it was. I knew it was coming. What happened to our computer players? Oh, they're dead. You what? Know, so we, we, I outsurvived them? Yeah. We had three lives, and they all got knocked out. How many lives do I have left? We're both at one left. No, I have a feeling you are uh, doing pretty well here. Well, you have a lot more damage. You see the bottom. The closer you get to 100% damage. Um, the worse it gets. It gets easier to get knocked off. Did I die by yeah. jumping at that thing? I didn't realize it touched oh, the me. Axe. Yeah, the axe hit you. Oh, the axe. Oh, okay, all right. Nice, good old Castlevania one. Castlevania's a game I played. I remember Super Ghouls and Ghosts. You ever play that one? It was really tough because you only have like two hit points. You know, you like, essentially, because you start out, I think you have a suit of armor. I think you can upgrade your suit of armor. Do you get three eventually? But like, if you get hit once, you lose the armor. Then you're naked. You get hit twice again. I mean, you're like in a loincloth. You get hit twice and you're just dead. So it's like a really tough game to get through all the way with like not getting hit, but like twice the entire game. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel when I tried to learn how to play Dark Souls 3. I have no, <laughs> no prior experience. I've talked to Andrew about this, but... Um, uh, am I picking or are you picking? Or what's it's going just... On? It's open. Oh, okay. So we can do it random. But yeah, so we, my partner and I were playing. We were trying to get everything ready, and we were like, oh, hey, let's just build a character. This sounds really fun. Let's be a sorcerer, because magic is fun. Yeah, well, and magic then, is supposed to be awesome, right? I mean, yeah, but not for Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> so we definitely got our, 
our butts handed to us quite a bit. And I was just like, why is this game built so that I get one shot killed every single time? You know? And then we looked it up and it's like, oh, armor class and- Mega Man, I'm doing that. <laughs> okay. I definitely felt some nostalgia right there. <laughs> just as soon as I got there, I was like, that's the guy, that's him. I'll be a villager because I played a lot of Animal Crossing with the New Horizons thing. And then- <laughs> There you go. You're a villager. Look at you, man. I haven't played as this character yet either. A lot of the characters that were in the first battle pass, um, I saw that they were added, but I haven't really been playing that. So this is also a chance to just see what they're like. Uh, so we're all trying to hide from the person who's shooting out energy things. How did they get that? Oh, that was an item, I guess. Because that's my item. And I only know that because it has, <laughs> like, my name over it. Man, I like Samus. Yeah, I mean... wasn't so bad either. They all have their different speeds, and they have their... Um, Interesting. Different approaches. Like, King K. Rule, really tanky. Really heavy character. Hard to knock right. off the map, generally speaking. You've got a bomb, so I'm going to get away from you. Man, Mega Man is not anywhere near as cool as I thought he'd be. All I've got is this dinky little circle. I, it appears to be doing pretty good damage. I'm sure somebody out there is going to watch this and be like, you have What is he talking about? Mega Man is amazing! You're not using the side hit. The most tactically advantage option there. But yeah. <laughs> Man, I got you. I got you. <laughs> no, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to catch you like a bug. <laughs> You're no, all I'm like, well, I'm, I'm coming for that. you. Oh, somebody somebody did something to me. Where am I? What's going on? Why am I? Oh, you're in the barrel. Oops. Yeah. Uh, how do I get out? Well, you're, you're dead now. Well, I, I know that. <laughs> so... The, how am I supposed to get out? When the barrel's spinning around, you want the arrow to be... Oh, I've got it. I've got the smash. Oh, darn. You got me. I've got... See, I knew Mega Man was awesome. That's like the power of all versions of Mega Man. Is that what I just did? <laughs> Yeah. Man, so, so we, you know, part of what we're doing is talking about intellectual property, right? Just all those different versions of Mega Man. I mean, geez, when you have an intellectual property portfolio like Nintendo, well, or like that, just this game, right? I mean, yeah, this game, like, typically. Can you imagine the licensing deals required to make this game happen at all? Yeah, I mean, that's always been one of the key selling points. It's bringing in all of these different characters. That are loved. Yeah. From a wide uh, variety of different games. But they're all, you know, same general Nintendo umbrella. Right, right, right. You gotta get used to that. But, I mean, otherwise, you gotta... <laughs> What's the deal with this problem. potion? How do I use it? I'm up, I'm up here trying to avoid this computer player. I've got a purple potion. Oh, that's a fairy from Zelda. <laughs> How do I use it? So, I mean, I haven't used it before, but hit A, yes. Yeah. You wanted to hit A to heal yourself. But oh, okay. You yeah. actually threw it at me, so it healed me. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, that wasn't what I was trying to do. Oh, and then you shoot me in the back after I healed you. It's okay. Yeah, this particular oh. match, I don't feel like <laughs> keep trying to do the same thing with the villager character because I'm just not familiar with it. Did I die again? I did. I did. I have a feeling you uh, that my success, accidental success from last time won't last. Hmm. 
Man, I'm getting striped and what? What is that, dude? I got wasted. I'm out. Zorark. I'm out. Good luck against these two computers. Yeah, it's all gonna come down to can I get this weird bomb drop thing to work? I think that and my net are my best options. Your out net. Of what, out, out of what the I'm able to do. Yeah. Okay, everybody, watch James focus. I'm going to switch to, to him just real quick so you can see how focused he is. He's really going for this. So let me see. Favorite games from growing up? I mean, I guess as a kid, I'm trying to think. We did never have a Sega Genesis, but we had friends who did. I mean, so, so I played through Sonic the Hedgehog. I think we borrowed it from a friend for like a week or two. Um, you ever play through Sonic? Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, pretty, pretty standard stuff. I never had a PlayStation, but I had a friend who did. Played a skateboarding game on that. But but pretty much at our house, the only systems we had were were Nintendo, and then um, you know the standard computer games. I played um, Duke Nukem. Did you ever play Duke Nukem? <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, absolutely. Like the old one, I mean, you know, now they're all like super graphic and stuff, right? But I, I remember playing that one, and then what was the first, it was the first person shooter, I want to say. Did you play Doom? No, I didn't play Doom. It was um, Wolfenstein 3D. Yeah, yeah. You remember that? Yeah, that was a big deal because it was all 3D and stuff. Let's, let's pick something on purpose. Okay. Luigi's, I mean, because I don't know any of these. It's not like I get an advantage from being on. <laughs> we'll pick the Zelda one then. Hyrule okay, Castle. Hyrule Castle. Yeah. Well, then I have to pick a Zelda character. There you go. All right. If you're gonna do that, then. So FYI, for those who are watching, James's Twitter handle is BlueJDW, and my uh, my name is Condorment because that's what I just always use when I play <laughs> video games. I, it comes from this like. I guess 70s or 80s Disney movie that I, you know, strangely love. So, if you ever have a chance to see Condor Man, you should totally watch it. It's absolutely absurd. Have I told you the plot of Condor Man yet? Yeah, you've told me about it. <laughs> I'll tell I'll tell it once to the camera, and then the last time that I that you have to hear it. Old movie. Uh, guy is a comic book artist, and um, oh, you're making them harder. Uh, I'm gonna die really quick. Not that much harder. <laughs> and uh, his buddy's in the CIA, and his buddy asks him to fill in a CIA like drop for him. But then he meets this Russian spy, and she only trusts him. And he's this comic book artist. And the CIA is all like, "We really want this Russian defector." And he's all like, "I'll do it on one condition that you make all my comic book stuff a reality." So he's Condor Man in this comic book. And so they actually make him Condor Man wings and a and a and a um, a boat and a car. I mean, it's it's a pretty ridiculous spy flick. So anyway, Condor Man. They they should really do a remake. It's that good. <laughs> and fun fact, I think the actor of Condor Man was like the first singer for the Phantom in the original Phantom of the Opera, the London cast. So random stuff. There, I start against you, man. I wonder what my strategy should be this time. What do you think? What's a good beginner strategy? Well, not running off the map like I just did. Um, I mean, typically avoiding this area. Avoiding what area? The bottom right. Because Why? you can get trapped in this little, um, we'll call it a building. What about the bottom left? The bottom left, there's. it's like easier to kind of swing yourself back on, like jump back onto the map. But it's easier to kind of get stuck there. Like that? Yeah, <laughs> more or less. You're like, yeah. No! You mean like that? <laughs> this is not good. But yeah, um, so you were hey, talking- Hey, you're supposed to protect me. You're Link, <laughs> what's going on here? You were talking about Condor Man. And of course, in the gaming context, everybody can have their gamer handles, whatever they want. But I mean, do you want to have this IP teaching moment at all? <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, we're not supposed to be IP teaching on this. We're just playing video games. No, but you can go ahead. I think that uh, there is some value in us talking about, you know, some intellectual property stuff as we go. So, presumptively, Condor Man is a character that has been protected by trademark, copyright, whatever um, intellectual property applies. I, I don't know, so I won't say, like, this is true or whatever, but... Um, is that my second death? Seriously? I, I get three, right? I think we're... Yeah. So you have two lives left. Oh, I have two. Okay, I see it. But yeah, so basically, you can use a gamer handle that isn't necessarily restricted for copyright trademark reasons because you're not really using it in the same capacity. If you're on um, Twitch or some other platform and you're trying to say, I am this brand or I am this character, you might run into issues when money becomes involved. Right, so like using a, a handle just because you want to or because you enjoy it or whatever it might might be an instance of fair use. Is that kind of what you're thinking? Like if I just want to be, I don't know, Thor, my like personal thing, but if I'm going to be a professional streamer, I can't call myself Thor without paying Marvel something. Yeah, I mean, especially when it comes down to like merchandise, which Although, is where a lot of people get. Thor probably isn't a good example because, you know, the mythology of Thor is in the public domain, right? Yeah, but of course it comes down to are you context? Are yeah. you profiting off the the uh, the character? Is the character referenced to the one the Marvel one, Marvel or is it lore? the one from Celtic or not Celtic lore? What well, Norse? Norse. Yeah. Are, Norse. are you just going to reference basic themes and not necessarily that character? Which it's kind of hard to delineate. Marvel's going to sue you either way. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's another like there's this practical consideration, right? Like, do I do I bother? Oh man, I have one life left. Look at me. I'm... So here's my strategy now. I'm just going to hang out here at the top, wait for everybody else to die. <laughs> That's no fun. Or I could just get better at the game. Let's do that. But yeah, so recently there was a, um, a streamer who, her name was Pokey Princess, and she had a trademark for her handle. No. And she just got basically a cease and desist letter, among other things, from, Nint um, yeah, from Nintendo. Basically, Pokey Princess? Yeah, because... Not necessarily because her name would... What's up with the cat? <laughs> I took you out, man. Yeah, Where? you did. Well, who is drawing cats and birds? It's just one of the items. Well, it's an annoying item. Now I'm a seashell. But yeah, um, she, she was sued because she's also an adult entertainer, like a streamer that has adult content. Mm. And so it's like tarnishment? What was the... Yeah, more or less. Like saying this is not representative of our brand because we're a family company. And... Um, you got me. I'm dead. Yeah, so Nintendo, they will pursue you if there's a policy reason um, in terms of their branding. And she basically had to change her handle. She had to do a lot of things. And it all comes down to the fact that she was using her handle in that context yes, um, for merchandise, for other things that utilized a lot of, you know, Nintendo, like the Pokeball branding. Yeah, Nintendo-themed stuff. There's another issue, like, my, my sister's... Um pretty big into like crafts and, and Nintendo stuff too. It was cool. We visited her this last summer and she told me has, I didn't realize how into to Nintendo she was, but she has a, a Mario room in her house and like an, 
a couple other. She has a, 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 a Zelda room in her house too. Her daughter's room, I think, is the Zelda room or whatever, um, which is cool. Um, but she's always doing Etsy and crafty things. And one time she sent to me something that somebody was selling on Etsy. It was like little wooden dolls of Elsa and Anna. I'm all like, these people need a license. Like, what are they doing? They can't sell Disney princess dolls on Etsy, you know, unless they have permission. And she's like, really? I was like, really? Yeah, Etsy's, <laughs> Etsy's notorious for that. And, you know, there are disclaimers and things. But... Right, right. And, and it's hard to police that. I mean... Unless of these brands, unless if you're a big company like Nintendo, it's kind of funny both of us ended up... Yeah, I know. We're, this so, shows how bad we are at this game, everyone. This is just uh, chatting now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so unless if you're a big brand and you're able to sit in every single platform, every single channel, you're not going to really be able to send out all of those cease and desist letters. What's up with the tornado? Is that one of these characters? Is that it's just, just the, It's the map. In Hyrule? That's just Hyrule? Yeah, it's just... Hyrule map. just has tornadoes <laughs> that randomly appear on top of roofs. <laughs> Okay, all right. No, but you were saying, what's happening to him? There's another CPU? No, oh, it's the crocodile from Donkey Kong. There you have it. No, but anyway, you were saying something about Etsy? Well, yeah, so Etsy and other like resale crafts kind of platforms like that have that very real Way to go, Sonic. He did it. He won. <laughs> So they have that understanding that a lot of stuff comes through. Of course, Etsy is going to try to take the benefit of the doubt with the safe harbor DMCA protections, but... Um, yeah, but have you looked at their DMCA stuff? We're going to talk about DMCA on the Just Chatting. Don't worry, we're going to keep playing video games. But, uh, oh man, this is, uh, you want to do something vintage? <laughs> uh, we'll talk about DMCA some other time. In honor of this map. Uh, are you gonna do King K rule? Ryu! Uh, where, I'll pick somebody relevant. Somebody relevant? You pick Mario. I'll be Dr. Mario. You're gonna be Dr. Mario. Yeah, and if you wanna change the color, you can like change his tie color. You can click on it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. You good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm ready to go. Okay. I bumped up the difficulty and we both died. That just goes to show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. But this is my map. This is me. Oh, Donkey Kong is slower. Yeah, he's one of the tankier kind of characters. I'll just say in the scheme of things. <laughs> I'm trying to get that gun. So the goal here isn't to necessarily inflict damage so much as it is to not die. Yeah, basically you just want to try to get a good enough setup so that um, you get... I guess I haven't really told you, but like... <laughs> yeah, now controls, are you going to tell me? <laughs> in terms of the controls, if you have... Um, like if you move your control pad and then hit A, you do a side attack, and it's a little bit stronger. So you can hold it by holding down A and holding down the control pad. Well, actually, you don't have to hold down the control pad, but you really just want to get that ideal, like, really strong attack once they're near the edge of the map. Is there a way you can drop through platforms? How do you... Down. You just push down? Push down. Do the things on the map hurt you? Like fire? And yeah, yes. fire can hurt you. Seeing that now, so that answered that question. Did I die? Yeah. No, I still have three lives. I think it might have went um, went to four. No, don't do that. How far down can you go here? 
you can go off the map a little bit, but there is a like a definite point of yeah, you're dead. Versus, you can try to swing back. Of course, I just got taken off. So you've been playing Fortnite. What else have you been trying out recently? Um, so, so it's been years since I've actually owned a video game system. Uh, just law school and other things were more important for a while. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, you know, I'm glad that we have this kind of culture at our firm where we can, you know, have some interests that aren't just law. Um, uh, but uh, I, I discovered a game when I was at my brother's house, and um, Ori, you may have heard of it, maybe you haven't, but it's on the, it's on the Xbox, it's really fantastic. Um, kind of reminded me a little bit of um, Metroid, like Super Metroid, I don't know if you ever played that one. Yeah. But, um, it's been a while, but... Yeah. Oh, a building suddenly appeared. I am not doing good on this one. I thought this is my map on Donkey Kong, but he's really <laughs> slow. Like I get in trouble and I can't get out. And yeah, then I've I mean, had more luck like uh, grabbing hold of people and stuff and knocking them. Having... But but with Donkey Kong, he's so slow I can't grab a hold of anybody. He's a big character, so it's easy for him to get stuck. Yeah. Especially I guess in this kind of a map. Yeah, I got wasted. <laughs> no, so I played through Ori. That was a good time. Um, my daughter wanted it, actually. She saved up some money, and she wanted to buy it. And um, we were playing through, and it's got some parts that are pretty challenging, like just not in terms of like health. Like it has the easy setting, and so you don't die as quickly or whatever, but it just has some challenging parts. And my daughter was watching me play. She goes, I don't know that I'm going to be able to play this. I'm like, it'll be okay, Nick. Like, you'll get better at video games. <laughs> she's, she's seven. Uh, she was really worried. She said, it looks really hard, Dad. I'm like, you know, video games are like anything else. If you work at it, you get better. <laughs> right. Uh, to, to which my wife was just kind of rolling her eyes. She's like, okay, I guess, if you want to work at video games. Uh, <laughs> So Ori has been fun. Um, my wife really liked racing games, so we got Forza. Um, and then, I don't know, there are a couple. I mean, the Xbox came with, uh, what's the Jedi game? The Star Wars game. Battlefront? No, I wish. I like Battlefront. Um, it shows you how much I've played it. I didn't really enjoy it. I know it's like highly acclaimed and everything, but like, it just, it just wasn't my thing. Um, and then I played some Destiny. My brother, my brother really likes Destiny, so I played with him. Um, I think I think we've been on for about a couple, couple games. Couple games. But uh, thanks for hanging out and listening to us with our nostalgia about Nintendo <laughs> video games. But yeah, we're uh, we're gonna keep playing on Fridays, and we will be back Wednesday, right? And what are we gonna be talking about? Here, I'll switch the camera to you. Tell tell, tell them what, what are we gonna be talking about? I mean. Do you want to do a follow-up because we kind of stopped midway through copyright, or do you want to pick up the next topic? I just noticed that it looks like we're not looking at each other. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch the cameras. Watch I this. I can just artificially look to the left if that helps. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll look, away. <laughs> we'll look, look away. away from each other so we can look at each other. Uh, no, I, I figure, yeah, we'll pick up the, the copyright okay. conversation, and we'll just uh, finish where we left off. Um, and so if you want to watch that last episode, it's available on Twitch still, I think. And then it's also going to be on our YouTube channel. Yep. And we're going to turn those Wednesday conversations into a podcast. So you'll be able to follow us uh, at Team Gavel is what we'll title it. And uh, hopefully some of the legal talk is, is going to be helpful to you. And then you can kind of get to know us a little more. Because we're going to keep playing video games. Today was Smash Brothers. Next week might be... I don't know. We might get Among Us as long as we can get this... Yeah, the tech stuff set up for it. Maybe maybe get a group together, um, and then also maybe some Rocket League. We might jump back into Fortnite or some other games. So uh, thanks for listening. Once again, this is Team Gavel. So for any legal stuff that we did talk about. Legal and
information is not legal advice specific to your situation. Yeah, did you guys catch that? So legal information is not legal <laughs> advice. If you want specific legal advice about a case that you're looking at, give us a call. It's 804-477-1720. Thanks for watching and listening, and have a great weekend. We'll see you guys next week on Wednesday. Happy Friday, folks. Happy Friday.